Hello again, guys, and this would be the part two of the hungry. I don't know. Part two of the hungry candy tasting video. We got a few things left. To begin this episode, I have a brown. <laughs> I have brown. Yeah, I have brewed. I brewed the, the coffee that was sent with package. Oh, you did? Yeah. I didn't know that. But that's the reason. I was like, oh, you're making coffee, nice. So this package is clearly ripped, but that's the only way a brute like me could get it out of the package. This is called Omnia. Omnia. Omnia Classic. Omnia is one of the oldest Hungarian coffee blends. It's very rich and strong coffee, good for espressos. We have a whole cup. Uh, nowadays it's made by Dowie Egberts. When I smell the coffee before it was brewed, it uh, smelled really good. I, I'm guessing it's a little bit of a darker blend. A little bit too dark for me. It's quite good. We'll enjoy that meanwhile we snack on the other things. Why not start off with the most interesting thing in the bunch? Inter I don't know if it's interesting or scary, but this is for number seven. Grillage. Grillage. Also a very old candy type made from nuts and caramelized sugar. This one is made with peanut. It's very hard and sweet. Hard and sweet, just like me. Feels like you don't really believe that. Mine are hard and sweet. What are they made Soft and um, umami. <laughs> Thanks, girlfriend. How are we supposed to eat this? I have no idea. They look like hearts. And now the sun goes behind. You can tell they look. They look like hearts. I don't know what your hearts look like. It's a heart. This is a pretzel. It's totally a heart, though. Oh, interesting. It, it was hard and made of peanut. Yeah. Pretty good. Oh. This video is gonna be shit lighting wise, but I do not have the energy to care and it's not my channel, so you deal with it if you want to. We will just be white this video and that's okay. Great, my lady. Mm, 7 out of 10. But I wouldn't be able to eat too much of it. Yeah, I thought it was. It's kind of nice. And just for being different, I'll, I'll go ahead and give it an 8. 8. I could bump it to an 8 too if I wanted. <laughs> it is within your power, yes. <laughs> I would like to bump it to an 8. Okay, you are allowed. Thank you. Then we have something I think you might like. <clears throat> so this is... Have we had this before? I don't think so. Hey Caramella! These are viable caramel blocks with butter and milk. They are so great. They are so great. They look like the ones with the little cows. You want a whole one? No, it's fine. The ones we've had in other videos where they're wrapped exactly the same and uh, you remember we need to get better at showing them what the, everything looks like. <clears throat> I'll show them the wrapper. I think they're more interested in the candy. <laughs> the candy looks like this. It's a stick of fudge. And this is the wrapper in front of my face. This is M&M. I prefer when it's not very crumbly and a little bit more smooth, but taste-wise uh, <clears throat> it's good. <clears throat> right? Um. Thing as I sip the coffee, we haven't graded the coffee, right? No. So I, I like darker blends and this coffee is actually quite good. I would say this coffee gets an 8 for me. For me, no darker coffees can go above a 5 or being a darker one, I'll Say a four, which is <laughs> decent. Um, I would not voluntarily like drink it again. Voluntarily. Like if someone gave it to me, I would drink it, but I wouldn't choose it and I wouldn't repurchase. And uh, what if you were forced? Like I said, if someone gave it to me, I would drink it. At a party, would you drink it? I don't drink coffee at parties. <laughs> it just makes no sense. Okay. At your grandma's place after food, I would drink it. Good, uh, good grade, Kat. <laughs> wow. Next time I would make it a little bit stronger, um, use a little bit more of the coffee. And Let's not do that. More concentrated, that, that's what I would do, but still very nice. Very nice. Very nice, Fogel guys. Very nice bird shit. So this one was mentioned in the last video and maybe the algorithm is gonna block this video if I call the name of this, so... We'll just show it to you instead. This is also a very old candy. It's one of the Hungarian licorice candies. 
Uh, it's a hard candy feel with a mint and licorice filling. So it's mint. Mint alert! Mint and licorice, that's... Uh... That's like uh, Diana's balls. Okay, shall we... Or Diana's cooker. Or we'll, just <laughs> we'll just prepare this. We'll save them for last. Natra Forgomak. Is that a is that a pronunciation of slaughter? Like in the comments of the last video, half of the people laughs, laugh their asses off and say it's my pronunciation is ter terrible. And the other half say, super good, well pronounced. <laughs> so there's two alternatives here. Either one side is very, being very picky, or one side is being very suck ass. <laughs> Trying to be nice to me yeah, even though it's yeah, terrible. They're lying. Kiss yeah. ass, you usually say, not suck ass. Well, that's the step above. Salted roasted sunflower seeds, as good as pumpkin seeds. What if you don't like either? <laughs> as, as good? As bad. As bad? <laughs> We're not big in seeds here mm. in Sweden. Like when I was younger, when we made the jack-o'-lanterns for Halloween, we always roasted our own pumpkin seeds and put salt on and whatever. They are fine, I like those, but I have never enjoyed sunflower seeds. I think they are nasty. You, you do. You I want to split those with you. No. That's mine. <clears throat> they were not so bad. These were the least disgusting sunflower seeds we'd have yet. I had kind of a nutty flavor. Yeah. I, I would like them a little bit more salty, um, but otherwise I, I do enjoy... It's like small peanuts. I will give this a six. I'll give them an eight. There's been something about all the other sunflower seeds we've tried that have disgusting, very earthy after flavor or something. To oh, pumpkin seeds? Tuck Meg? Yeah, so... <laughs> what? No. Say, say again? Tuck Meg. Tuck Some more seeds. This is a national snack. Great with TV shows and cold beer. Salted, you have to crack the skin to get the seed. You have to crack this to get the seed. Yeah, but you eat the whole thing, right? I don't know. I can't peel every snack. That's not good with TV shows. You need to watch the TV show. Whenever we do pumpkin seeds, we just eat the whole thing. How are you supposed to peel this then? Yeah, the, 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 the skin is tastier than the seed. Because that's where the salt is. But maybe it's one of those seeds that you like eat and then spit out the shell. Yeah, maybe. I never understood I don't know. that. I don't, I don't have that experience in, um, in seeds. I would prefer the sunflower seeds for TV shows, actually. They work okay. I'm gonna have to step it down to a six, though. I'm gonna give it a four. Bon bonnet. The Francia de la Coco Draggies. And they hail is a draggie. Sugar coating. They come in different colors, but they all taste the same. I got all the pink and white here. But I still don't know what draggies is. It could be something gross. It's a chocolate. <laughs> kind of like round little smarties. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Mm, eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. It's you, you could just pour those into your mouth and they would be all gone. <laughs> so but very sweet. <laughs> yeah. Because of the sugar coating. Can I give a grade? Eight. You did. Yeah. But right, you right. also said eight. Did I? Yeah. Okay, eight. You had the power so, to change your mind. I do. But I will go what I want to say is that the last video had an average grade that was a lot lower. <coughs> We should have mixed it up better. Yeah, well, it's not our fault, or it kind of is. Mm. But yeah. how how would we know? Yeah. But I'm just saying that. Um, I'm saying if if. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> if anyone felt like Hungary underperformed last time, yeah. this is the. This is it up. turning it around. So far, quite good. You oh. you open this and present it, and I will. I, I think that's like too old. Uh, that's why. It's... But we've had these before, don't you remember? But they were yeah, but this different. package isn't it like super old? Yeah, I know it's fine, <laughs> and that's why it's smelly. Almost six months past the expiration date. Maybe we shouldn't eat that. But I can. So this is. We this. would probably like it. I show you what it looks like. It's like these uh, buns. They're supposed to be kind of soft, but they're all crumbly inside. But if you've been watching all our candy tasting videos. I don't know if it was Russia. I kind of have a feeling it was Russia. We got these with a minty flavor. This is a vanilla flavor. I would have liked to try them. But the minty flavor was pretty good. Don't you remember? Yeah, I remember. These little bread pieces. So that's too bad that these are expired. And because we, don't... we suck. I'm gonna open it. Yeah. They're 
they're not supposed to look like this. I think they're supposed to look... But they've crumbled. Yeah. These look like they've... They're like... You know when you like... Frat someone dies and you shrink their head and it becomes like crumbly? I don't think they've shrunk. I think they've crumbled. <clears throat> Either way, I, I say we stay away from it, just to be sure. I think I would give these a 7 out of 10. <laughs> I'll, I'll give them a thought score of a 5 out of 10. Because, really? like, bread and snacks isn't that... Um... <coughs> <laughs> Sorry. Isn't that great for me, usually. Mm -hmm. um, but you so, like fika snacks. Yeah. This is a little bit interesting, though. Or is it alcohol? The, uh, I don't know. Uh, that's what we're gonna read. Um, 32? Is it? Uh, 31 maybe? Yeah, that's 32. Okay. Oh, is it too different? I know it's not a candy, but oh. it's one of Hungary's national treasures. Palinka is a fruit brandy made with distillation. The authentic flavors are plum, apricot, pear and quince. I think we should read a little bit more about this before we try it. But one of the flavors is barak and the other one is uh, so number Silva? 31, this one is plum, apricot, pear and this quincy thing and that one is apricot. We will try this and we can post about it on uh, on Instagram or something just to let you know what we thought. But um, for now we will just save this so we don't ruin anything by opening it. It would be fun to be able to treat this to friends as well, you know? Not on only opening it up to, to taste it and then it might, by like if it gets ruined or anything it's 40 percent by the way thank you very much thank you so much and we do really enjoy that those kind of gifts even though they're not snacks and stuff because it's a uh, part of your culture and uh, country so always fun like the stuff that we would never see otherwise so that's fun but the other things that were cooled was I think chocolate. So this is number 20. Uh, basic milk chocolate bar. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> With a hippo on it. Uh, okay, so, so it is 40% uh, cocoa. So like this, it's a little tiny bar. Tiny bar in a golden shell. Hoping this is good with coffee. Before we started making these videos, I had no idea that chocolate could taste so differently in different parts of the world. Used to the Swedish standard. And I, so far, I mean, it's not about standard, it's about what the, the flavor, Swedish taste. Yeah, the flavor I'm used to. This wasn't bad, it was uh, different. I'll give it a 5 out of 10. Now we have another one with the same shape. And Are you going to grade it? It's number 21. Okay, that one gets a uh, 6. Pretty okay. I do like my like milk chocolate to be a little sweeter, um, but... Going with coffee, that works completely fine. Basic milk chocolate bar with caramel filling. Steamer Company oh. was a Hungarian candy and chocolate factory established in 1868. But under socialism, the factory closed. Uh, in a few decades now, the company is reborn and it makes higher quality products. It stepped it up. It's got more flavor to it. Also, the inside had kind of a special flavor. Mm, I think it was pretty good. I'll give that a 7 out of 10. I'll hand it a 7 as well. And this. Everything, everything's cool now. Have you seen that commercial? No. Huawei with I'd Sarah Larson. I'd rather not. It's before every YouTube video on YouTube right now. She's standing there with her phone. Everything, everything's cool now. A simple chocolate bar with cappuccino flavor. Cappuccino flavor. Oh. Mm, good. I'll give it a 7. I'll give it an 8, I think. Misley Zealot. Uh, a simple cereal bar. You can buy it in many flavors. This is red fruits flavor. Cereal. I have a big secret love for cereal bars, especially like Rice Krispie bars and cocoa puff bars and stuff. This seems like a little bit of a healthier version. Probably not healthy, but healthier. Pretty good. A lot of berry flavor. Mm -hmm. Tastes like tea. Just like a red berry tea. But we have two things left, or I guess three things left, because we have the... Are you gonna grade it? Yeah, I'll give it up, like, it wasn't too too good for me, even though the berry flavor was kind of nice, and I'll give it a five. I'll give it a six. We have ourselves <coughs> a number four. Uh, Puha Caramella. Poo Caramellas? Puha. The Hungarian name is a little bit tricky, because it is not caramel. <laughs> 
Oh. It's soft candy with fruit flavors, orange, lemon, apricot, and raspberry. Is this apricot? I hope so. <laughs> Everyone has like a fruit on it, except the one that's just orange. <laughs> I'll go with, with the orange. I'm gonna make a reference now that I don't think you're gonna remember or understand, but maybe. Since you're a little bit older than me, you should remember it. When I was young at least, there was an ice cream, I think it was blue, and the stick of the ice cream was yellow, and the stick was gum. So you would eat the ice cream and then you would peel the paper off the stick and it would be gum. Do you remember this? I think I grew, grew past ice cream by that time. But I was like four, so you must have been like, what, nine? You grew past ice cream by the age of nine? I ate more adult ice creams by then. Anyway, the apricot tasted like the stick of that ice cream. Pretty, pretty standard, like fruit cola. It was good. I'll give it an eight. Well, I don't like any of the other flavors really, but I'll give the apricot a uh, seven. You don't like raspberry? Mm, not so much. We have some more cocker brand called Fruity. Tutti Fruity, number nine. Um, this is also an old-fashioned candy, but now it's made by Nestle. As the name that uh, said, or says, it's a sour hard candy with apple and pear flavors. Not as sour as Sonny likes. Sad face. <laughs> Sad face. Well... Then it might be my cup of tea. Because okay. apple and pear sounds good. I'll say thanks for trying. Is it sour at all? Not on the outside. Did mm. you also get a pear? Good. Maybe it's sour on the inside. But like, nonetheless, even though it's not sour, it's a really nice flavor. I feel like Seriously. every other country in the whole world if anyone comes to Sweden and it's like, oh, sour candy, they're going to die. No other country lives up to Sweden's sourness. Well, this is sweet. Yeah, I know, but the candy you eat, the sour candy, makes my face scrunch up in a ball. None of this stuff. Oh, yeah, you know that super sour one? Those, like, uh, red that came in a bag? The cola? The ones we treated people to at our party? Yeah. Cola. No. Yep. No. They were red small balls. Brown. It was cola. Whatever. Those were sour. They, they were very sour, even for me. But you can't really eat more than one of those because you, sho you shock your mouth. But these were super tasty, very, very flavorful. And there's nothing on the inside. A nice pear or apple flavor all the way through. I'll give this <coughs> bag an 8 out of 10. I'll give it a 10 out of 10. Super, uh, like, not sour, but super, super tasty. So now we're getting to the finishing line where we have um, this candy we talked about before that had mint. licorice yeah. and um, mint. mint. And it's gonna be not good. It's gonna leave a lasting flavor of licorice and mint. Mm. Kind of tastes like uh, uh, licorice flavored. Uh, mm, well, what do you even call throat tablets in English? Medicine for your throat? Health of cough, cough drop. But it's not for coughing. What do you call it that? Throat tablet. <laughs> it's called a cough drop. Mm. What do you mean? Uh. Uh. Yeah. You can never accept what I say. No, because you're wrong half of the time. No, I'm not. I'm, yes, you are. I'm right most of the time. Mm, I don't want to bite it to get to the middle. I want, to, I want it to last. I, I, I don't want it to last. Everything, everything's cool now. It's licorice. And uh, I don't like licorice. Minty licorice. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. It's good for me. Give it a 2. Just because. Just because. <laughs> There's no... <laughs> If it's licorice, it's licorice. Okay, I can't save you there. Hello, and baby. Here we have an aspiring photo model. Photo model. Puppy model. He's a little puppy model. Uh, Katrin and Menace has been out in Rosnes, which is a forest um, with a like um, jogging track all the way through it, and a lot of like it's on a. What do you call it? Udde. It's a water all the way around it, pretty much. It's not an island. <laughs> it's like a, a landmass that sticks out in the water with a lot of forest and, and a path to walk or jog on. Or a bike or a crawl, whatever you want to do. Doesn't matter, but these two rascals oi, 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 oi. were out there taking some photos. Follow so, Menace on Instagram, link below. Yeah, if you haven't followed Menace on Instagram yet, you should. 
I ordered a new lens for my camera yesterday. So we're gonna take his Instagram to a whole other level because his modeling skills and posing skills are too good to waste. Yeah, he got some talent. He got some serious talent, this guy. Mm -hmm. And he's tired right now, so he's gonna most likely go for a afternoon nap very shortly. Which he has, he has been doing while we recorded the video. But <laughs> well, thanks again, Tamas. This. For... <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah, you're. Uh, this half was better than the first. Yeah. Uh, overall, this uh, scored way higher. It was a very nice put together package with a lot of uh, cool stuff. What will be the next country we have? What package is that? I don't remember what we have back there now. But we have a, like. We what? got a big package recently. Yeah. We have two, two new packages. So we're, we'll keep going with this. If you want to send a package from your country, you know what to do, m most likely. And if they don't? But if you tune in for the first time, then the. Candy contact will be down below. And you should you start an email that is just for the candy contact. <laughs> candy for Sami as you know. Sami at candycontact.com. Candy for Sami <laughs> Give Sami diabetes.com. Yeah. But we do appreciate these packages a lot and it's super fun to open them and uh, taste all these different tastes, tastes from all over the world. Do you know any Hungarian? Kukur. Until next time, guys. Cooker and have a something in it.